around for years, if you never filed for it, you lose that right to it? Not exactly, but you've sort of created a big headache for yourself. So if you've been using... Um, I can give you a perfect example. Oh, give you me a perfect example. example. So the Foundry uh, has been around for going on four years. There are now two other The Foundries in Buffalo. One is like a music chop shop and the other is uh, the sweet, you know, where Spree mm -hmm. publishes. Um, yeah. And both of those other two were aware of the original. This is a very interesting question. Um, that actually brings up New York State unfair competition laws mm -hmm. rather than trademark. Because the foundry is sort of local, the foundry on uh, Northampton, right? Yeah. They're local, they're not really involved in interstate commerce, but they've been there, they've established their name in this geographic region, and then when the other two entities came in, um, what the original foundry should do or should have done is contacted them with information about New York State unfair competition. So contacted the two new people. Yeah. Oh. They probably still could. My guess is that they don't want to. But um, yeah, so that's more of a geographic trademark than a federal trademark issue. 